Okay, so putting back the mask together, we got to start with the seal. So uh, these first couple components to putting the mask back together actually are uh, the most difficult part. It takes a little bit. You got to make sure you line the bottom of the seal up. That's probably where you should start. As you can tell at the beginning of the video, I tried starting uh, from the side, but if you start from the bottom, you can line up the chin with the exhaust valve. There you go, now that you got your face uh, seal on there, now let's go ahead and put the frame back on. So again, we're going to start with the bottom. I think it's uh, just the easier way because it's the easiest way to line it up. And you just have to push the seal, which is now wrapped around the face shield, into the grooves of the face shield frame. And then we move on to the top, we make sure you line it up correctly on either side. And then we're going to move on and go ahead and put the screws in there. Um, that's going to be our next stop, step. I apologize, not the screws, but the nut and bolt. And then we can actually add in the, um, what we call the mouth and nasal cup. So this just basically is where you're breathing in and out and, and the, uh, the rubber silicone component that kind of helps makes the mask a little bit more comfortable. Um, and stay situated around your face. You just gotta push um, and, and work your ears around the edge. Tell them having a little bit of trouble getting that last little part over the lip. Boom, now it's good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, voice amplifier, the voice diaphragm back on. So first you put the diaphragm in and then you put the uh, external threaded um, case on there. And all you got to do is turn it clockwise. This is where you're going to take your, uh, have a set of pliers, and there's little, again, little uh, grooves on the outside where you can then attach this on there. The next step is putting back on the filter seals. So, first take these plastic um, filters. As you see me looking at it here, there is a very small prong. You actually put that into the big one, uh, the biggest. Uh, section there that's facing the voice diaphragm and once you pop it up you just pop it right in and it'll just click right in Just a little bit you just gotta make sure that smallest prong is facing at the voice diaphragm move the uh, you're going to maneuver around the seal and the uh, mouth and no uh, nasal cup now that you have the first set of seals that's on, you now you got to put the orange O-ring. This is pretty easy. You just pop them right in. Um, you want to make sure you you're, you have them facing the right direction, but it's pretty with the um, recess facing inward, and it's going to be a smooth out exterior. Just press that on in. Make sure it's nice and sealed, nice and flat. We're actually going straight to the, the head harness strap. So it's a five uh, prong harness. Now what you want to do is there when you have the harness, it is a uh, kind of a five piece and there's one that pointing obviously straight up. That one goes on the top of the mask. And then you just go around the whole mask and you put them across. Now what you need to do here is you just put it over the top of the buckle and you line the circle part of the clasp into the buckle and then pull back. That's nice and attached. Also, I do want to note you want to face with the uh, grooves of the head strap t facing towards the mask. That way, when you tighten it, it tightens correctly. You can just pull back on the strap so that it tightens correctly. All right, now you got your harness on, so you're almost done here. If this was the PD101 full face respirator mask, we would then just be putting the bayonet style um, filter cartridges straight onto the mask. But because this is a PD100 that we are constructing right now, we have to put the PA1 filter adapter on. Finally, uh, as we put on the, the PA1 threaded filter, it's not too complicated. There is no way to, uh, specific way to start it. You just have to put it in there and start threading it 
and screw it on until it has a nice snug fit. And that is how you put back together a PD-100 full face respirator.